You are looking at Iron Mass Occultist. This build have solid single target from Iron Mass Skeleton. While skeletons burst down majority of bosses without phases pretty fast. Also single target is combined with insane map clear from automated Profane Bloom Ascendancy. With Blasphemy Despair, build get purple chaos explosions from Profane Bloom Ascendancy and can do really buffed ultimatum encounters. Just like this. That. And this. And thanks to combination of Withering Presence Ascendancy and Divine Flash Keystone, this build gets solid passive tank against elemental and chaos damage with no extra investments. Major theme of the build is chaos damage and defenses. That is why build converts skeleton damage into chaos with triad grip unique gloves and get envy aura from simple rare amulet. Due to iron mass nature, build do go into melee range and get Sportify and life on hit recovery from cyclone. Majority of physical damage mitigation is active and only challenging part of the game for this build is anything that deal a lot of physical damage and do not die instantly, just like Minotaur Guardian. These are the maps that are shown on the background and in this video I would go over passive tree, ascendancy, gem decisions and gear choices to recreate this exact build. Build dominate northwestern part of the passive tree with everything minion related and two cluster jewel setups. It is not a low budget build and I invested around 11 exalted orbs for everything showcased in the video, with half of that in cluster and timeless jewels. Nevertheless, this build can easily transition from low budget pure physical or cold conversion skeletons and get self sustainable really fast. Main mechanic of the build is Iron Mass Unique Sword. With simple hit from Iron Mass, character triples damage of skeletons. It also stack wither stacks for extra added chaos damage. Since we are cultists, we can get extra chaos damage from Void Beacon Ascendancy and also buff Despair Curse with Malediction Ascendancy. Since we are in melee range, going for Blasphemy Despair is a natural fit. That would guarantee Profane Bloom explosions from everything in range. And as majority of minion builds, we also get Savant Skitter bots for extra damage scaling with Shock and Defense Slayer from Chill Effect. As stated previously, build converts skeleton damage with 4 white sockets on Triad Grip Unique Gloves. To push everything even further, build can get 8 chaos damage with envy aura and while all surprising emerald with free envy aura reservation become too expensive to be justified i have gone for very different and more accessible approach Getting rare amulet with envy aura just makes more sense. But the big question is how to get every aura working. We already have too much auras for our mana pool. And the solution is very organic and surprisingly very cheap these days. Every aura aside built in envy is slotted into Divine Diadem Unique Helmet. With cheap level 3 enlightened support, build can afford every single aura. And Eldritch Battery Keystone from Divine Diadem guarantees solid mana management. Also, it is really important to get Divine Diadem with Chaos Resistance and Whale, but more about that a bit later. We are not yet done with Iron Mask setup. To trigger it constantly we need several steps. In Gem Department we are running Cyclone as Hit Register, then we are running Fortify to get great damage mitigation and Life on Hit support to benefit from melee range and great life sustain. Passer Attack support is very solid addition to all above and after all that we are getting more attack speed from Spiritual Command Notable on Passive Tree. Then to guarantee every single hit from Iron Mask, build is getting a Resolute Technique Keystone. As a major part of damage scaling, build get a Righteous Army, Redemption and Grey Pack Notables from main passive tree. And to increase number of skeletons, build also get Lord of the Dead, Death Attunement and Alberoth Warpath Unique Boots. And for large cluster jewels, build is getting two large jewels with eight passives and at least Call to the Slaughter and Renewal Notables. Then to guarantee damage and skeleton sustain in more challenging endgame encounters, build get one medium cluster jewel with Blessed Rebellion notable for minion immunity. This is mandatory notable. Anything past red maps is not designed around minion life pools from early days of Path of Exile. And speaking of minion management in current state of the game. Another important jewel on the build is From Dust Unique Jewel. This jewel allows build to keep number of skeletons up and work really well with pace of the game in ultimatums and the game in general. And another very important part of damage scaling is frenzy charges on minions. Victarious Charity Unique Shield. Since grinding gear games do not like utility specters and nerf life pools of Ray Spectre Gem to the ground in 313, only reasonable option to generate frenzy charges in the endgame is this unique shield. And it comes really nice together with Iron Mass Nature. So with main damage source established, now it is important to explore build defenses. And here lies the second reasoning behind Oculus's ascendancy choice for this particular build. With Divine Flash from Glorious Vanity Timeless Duel in the name of Xiboqua. 
build need to get both overcap and ordinary chaos resistance. Wither and presence ascendancy from occultist is natural fit for this exact goal. And with small amounts of chaos res from divine item, Victorious charity and Alberon Warpath uniques, alongside with purity of flesh notable, build actually do not need any chaos resistance anywhere on the build or gear, and it already gets into maximum 80% chaos resistance. But wait a second, 60 from ascendancy, countered by negative 60 from Kitawa, then 20 plus 20 plus 11 plus 12, it is only 63%, where we get more, and that is done by overcapping chaos resistance with two born of chaos notables on small cluster duels. Be sure to get duel with only two passives, since 24 of extra chaos resistance from small passive is more than enough to overcap to exactly 86% chaos resistance. But while I really wanted to go for triple born of chaos setup, getting only 22% of elemental damage mitigation is good enough, and it is way more important to actually focus and get more physical damage mitigation instead. While it is tradition to get something like immortal call on castman damage taken level 1, with ultimatum in mind I was not really keen to do exactly that. I went for a very different approach to achieve the actual active defensive on physical damage mitigation and it actually proven to be completely correct. I wanted as much of physical damage mitigation uptime as possible and for that reason I went for self cast of immortal call on mouse button 1. To reduce cooldown of immortal call I am using Anomalous version of the gem, then I am using second wind support and also increased duration with increased duration support. Also over here I am using my movement skill which is flame dash, but most important that I am getting dynamo cluster to reduce that cooldown and increase duration duration of Immortal Call, and in the end, I end up with something around 60% uptime that can be actually increased with Endurance Charges. And for that exact reason, build is running one small cluster duel with Enduring Compulsion Notable, with everything in mind how it actually performs in-game, and it performs exactly like imagined. During ultimatums, build pretty much have grace period while Immortal Call is up, and then it rely on Life Flask with Roslata Pantheon and Life on Hit Sustain while it is on cooldown. That approach allow build to regen Life Flask charges during Immortal Call duration and have active defense during Immortal Call cooldown. Main disclaimer that this is not the best setup for bossing and majority of endgame encounters. Simply ultimatum is so different and pump out so much damage that you want the maximum uptime of your damage mitigation, especially for physical damage mitigation. Traditional cast while damage taken would be more preferable if you are not doing ultimatums. This is ultimatum exclusive setup and can be subject to change in the future leaks. And we yet to cover our main setup with 6 link summon skeletons. Setup here is a bit unusual but rather straightforward. Minion damage, ruthless, multi strike and then awakened added chaos damage since this very very cheap gem. Then either void manipulation support or predator support that highly dependent on your sockets. I highly recommend using skill on the lords with either unwavering stance or resolute technique keystones. Getting correct keystone with socket colors not even that expensive on the skin of the lords is just rather rare, and that is why I'm providing here 4 possible combinations. And of course Predator and Unvariant Stance being the best one. Both keystones are accessible on Passive Tree and with Skin of the Lords you pretty much just save the points. So in the next video chapter let's focus on utility gems, important rare gear details and leveling information. One of main active damage buffs for the build is Carrion Golem and Feeding Frenzy buff. With ultimatum in mind, I actually went for Castman damage taken on level 20 with this exact minion. And also I'm using second Castman damage taken setup on level 1, and that include Temporal Chains as second curse from Malediction Ascendancy, and Flash Offering for general buff on the minions. Temporal Chains can be swapped for Desecrate on boss arenas with no odds to have more damage, if you do not mind losing that extra defense layer. And last small damage tip is actually to slot Fortress Covenant unique jewel into one of the clusters, that in turn will get you all the positive effects, while neglecting every single negative effect of the Fortress Covenant. And speaking of cluster jewels, both Born of Chaos and Enduring Composture jewels can be totally overpriced with prices over 50 chaos per jewel. On average roll in both notable costs around 15 chaos in alteration rolls. You just need to get correct base with at least level 68 item level. Do not overpay for your jewels. The next stop is rare gear for the builds. Get majority 
majority of your dexterity fixed on one jewelry slot, so you can use intrinsic catalysts for maximum results. And Seal's build is very relaxed on Chaos Rares, you need just to fix your elemental resistance and get as much of flat life as you can. For the flask there is nothing unusual. As stated before, getting Ruslata paint and upgraded is really solid for the current Immortal Call setup. So it is really natural to get panicked divine life flasks, and on other flasks get your immunity for freeze, curse, ignite, shock and bleed. And do not forget to get granite and basalt flask for that physical damage mitigation. And as always, do not overpay for your flasks, you can always reroll them with the alteration orbs and then suffix craft the actual immunities from the menagerie. As eminent annoying, do not forget to get ravenous horde notable and on the leveling side there is not a lot things to say. I provide extra passive trees for every single lab and leveling with skeletons is really easy just press buttons, use mana flask and fix your elemental resistance. If you cannot beat act 3 or early act 6, just use purity of elements for elemental resistance on your skeletons and maybe just level up a bit. If you are wondering about bandits, well, just shank them all. So this was Iron Master Cultists, I am Foxy Shanks and of course, thank you for watching. Alright, so now with all normal people gone from the video, let's actually talk the actual business. And over here on this beautiful address that I handwritten on my wall, you can actually find me streaming Path to Exile, creating new builds and answering the question about the previous builds. And maybe even just generally talking Path to Exile. So thank you very much for follow there. And of course, why I'm doing it there? Because, well, I want to separate my content creation stuff. And as you guys shown, you do not really want to see me live on the YouTube. Because if I will go live on YouTube, my channel will most likely die. <laughs> so simple as that. But anyway, thank you for listening to this little business talk. And thank you for checking out the build. Hope you will enjoy that. And until the next build, have a pleasant day, exiles. Boxy Shanks. Out.